It's Transgender Awareness Month in the city of West Hollywood, and according to statistics from the National Center for Transgender Equality, more than one in four transgender people have lost a job due to bias, and more than three-fourths have experienced some type of workplace discrimination. What can we do as the LGBT community in the city of West Hollywood to combat these staggering statistics? I'm Eddie Robinson, and this is WeHo TV News. In association with the Los Angeles LGBT Center's Transgender Economic Empowerment Project, the City of West Hollywood recently presented the Transgender Job Fair, held at the West Hollywood Park Auditorium. So language becomes really important when interacting with trans people. Drian Juarez, an organizer of the fair, explained why these events are key to fortifying the strength of the transgender community. So we really work with our clients to figure out what is their first step to economic health and getting them on the road to eventually getting a job and stabilizing their lives. Today we have 53 employers who uh, registered to, to be here today, ready to connect with our community. This is what it's about, inspiring people to keep looking forward and to know that they can have the life that they want. We spoke with a job seeker to learn how opportunities such as this can provide much needed assistance where other job fairs may not address and embrace the qualifications of the transgender community. Of all the job fairs I've been to recently, this is the only one that was specifically for trans people. And not that anyone who's not trans couldn't come, but it's just it's nice to, to see that the uh, local industry and businesses are seeing the need for a wide diversity of people and are supporting trans, you know, transgender people, and that uh, we have a place to fit. That it, they recognize our skill sets and the diversity that we can bring to the table. Transgender entrepreneur Michaela Mendelson discussed the benefits of having trans presence in the workplace. In today's society, if we try to segregate or not understand a certain element of the workplace, first of all, you're, you're losing out on a large base of good employment. But second of all, you're going to have issues where your people aren't working as a unit and they're not as creative and as powerful as they could be. For more information on employment and empowerment opportunities for the transgender community, email teep at lalgbtcenter.org. And for more information on upcoming events from the city of West Hollywood, visit weho.org. I'm Eddie Robinson, WeHo TV News.